Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. So on today's video tutorial, okay, this tutorial is a continuation of what we were basically looking at um, in the previous video tutorial, where we were, you know, um, given the ingredients, um, okay, that Miss Nolan has to use, you know, to basically make her brownie, um, or her brownies, okay, remember we were told that, you know, the ingredients that are given, um, to us there, um, are able to basically, you know, um, just create or make 16 brownies, okay, so we, this is just a continuation of what we were doing there, okay, I took an extract, so I basically, um, copied and pasted this question into, um, the next page so before we get started with today's video tutorial uh please make sure guys that you are subscribed to my channel please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified when my video tutorial drops okay please take note that videos will come every single day at 6 p.m we are currently going through measurements so i've basically you know found you know looked for questions that i felt like they like popping up in your tests and then you know i've basically compiled all those questions together and we are going to be looking at them to help us prepare okay the next topic after finishing off measurements we're going to be looking at maps and plans okay so please make sure that you are subscribed if you don't want to miss out okay so let's get started Right, so let's see. It says Miss Nolan uses a square baking pan with the dimensions of eight inches by eight inches. She cuts the brownies in the baking pan into 16 equal size blocks. Okay, we are told to note that one inch is equal to 2.5 uh 2.54 centimeters right okay so we're given an equation that we can basically use to help us convert inches to centimeters if we want to do so okay so this equation um is going to help us convert inches to centimeters so let's see it says that you may use the formula area of a square is equal to side times side so we all know how we calculate the area of a square it is length times length side times side or um side square okay so it says that question 3.2.1 calculate the top surface area of one of the square brownie blocks in centimeter squared right so with this question just to help us get a better understanding of what's happening right okay there's a square baking pan so i'm sure we all know okay um how baking pans look right so we've got like a square baking uh baking pan okay that's our square uh baking pan right and then they've basically given us that the dimensions for the square baking pan right is eight inches by eight inches okay right so we want to calculate what is so we're looking at this uh, pan from the top right so don't be deceived uh by the fact that they're saying surface area now you're thinking is this surface area of a cube no we're just finding what is the top surface area so area of the top surface that's it okay so here we are just calculating the area okay of this pan if you're just looking at the top surface what is the space that has been taken up by this pen okay so we already know that to calculate the area of a square side times side but that is easy but what do we need to do the first thing that we need to do before we get into substituting into our formula is we need to convert these dimensions that are given to us in inches into centimeters okay so we need to convert the eight inches into centimeters how do we convert? We are told that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. This is the equation that's basically given to us to help us to convert. So how do we, are we going to uh, use it? We're going to say eight inches multiplied by what is it that we want? We want to convert to centimeters. So I'm going to multiply by 2.54 centimeters that is what i want divided by obviously i have to use that other part what you have one inch okay so then if you take eight inches multiplied by 2.54 over one 
that's going to give you 20.32 centimeters. So that means that the length of the square um, brownie or the pan, okay, the length of the pan, okay, is equal to, so this is basically equal to 20.32 centimeters. This is equal to 20.32 centimeters. That is the length of one side of this square pan, right? So now from here, what do we need to do? We want to calculate what is the area that is obviously, um, what is the area of the top surface of this pad? So what is that area taken up by the top surface of the pad, right? So all that we need to do here, then to find the surface area of the top, okay? It's just going to be side multiplied by side, okay? So what's one length of one side? We've calculated it to be 20.32 centimeters multiplied by what's the length of the other side it's a square pad okay they've got the same length which is also 20.32 centimeters if you punch this into your calculator what do we get as the top surface area of this pen it's 412.9024 centimeter square so that's the top surface area of the pen right but now the question is asking us to just you know leave it at that they want to find out what to calculate the top so we've calculated the top surface area of the pen right but now they want what is the top surface area of one of the square brownie blocks so we know that okay they told us here that your um the brownies right in this pen right are cut into 16 equal size blocks okay so we've got 16 equal sized uh blocks so it's one two three four okay do you see there okay so they're basically saying with this pen right these brownies are cut into 16 so it's 4 8 12 16 equal size blocks so now from this they want to determine what is the top surface area of one we have just indicated one of the square brownie blocks so we know that the total block the total area is 412 um point nine oh two four centimeters squared so what do we need to do to find the area of one block all that we need to do is we need to take the total area and we need to divide it by 16 okay so we want to take the total area of 412.9024 centimeters squared divided by 16 okay and then from there what do you get okay it's 25.8064 centimeters squared so the area of just one block okay the area that is covered the top surface area that is covered by just one block is equal to 25.8064 centimeters squared all right and I promise you that's what i think that's what i'm saying with, with now okay because we now know the basics surface area and things like that we are moving a step further okay we're thinking critically now deeply about the situations that are given to us hence i've basically taken these questions okay please watch the videos i cannot stress this enough right so we've now found the top surface area of one of the square brownie blocks in centimeter squared now question 3.2.2 says only 80 percent of the 80 brownies were sold write down the number that was left okay so here when you're obviously looking at you know percentage calculations i promise i, I think i've mentioned this it tells you exactly how you need to set up your equation you can literally take the word problem change it into a mathematical expression to give you your answer simple as that it doesn't get complicated okay so they're only saying that the brownies that were sold okay 80 percent of the 80 brownies were sold so you can write that as a, an expression sold is equal to 80 percent of the 80 brownies do you see we literally took that e expression or the word problem and we changed we wrote it exactly the way that the exactly the way that it was given to us right so we wrote it exactly the way that it was given okay brown is sold is equal to 80 percent of 80s 
80% of 80 brownies, okay? So from here, whatever answer that we're going to get from this equation is just going to tell us how many brownies were sold, okay? So from here, it's going to be 80 over 100 multiplied by 80, okay? Because 80 is for brownies, okay? So if you take 80 over 100 multiplied by 80, you'll see that the brownies that were sold were 64 brownies. Those are the brownies sold, okay? 64 brownies were sold. But now the question is asking us, what is the number that was left? So if we had 80 brownies, we sold 64 brownies, how many brownies were left? So therefore, the brownies left, okay? So 80 minus 64 is 16. So we've got 16 brownies left. Okay, cool stuff. Then, last question, write in ratio. Remember, we spoke about what simplified form means. It basically means that the ratio needs to be in whole numbers. We do not want decimals there. Okay, it mustn't be unit form where we've got a fraction or a decimal. Uh -uh. It needs to be whole numbers. So write in simplified form the ratio of the number of brownies sold to the number of brownies left. Also here, the question tells you exactly how you need to set up your solution. The ratio of the number of brownies sold to number of brownies left. 3.2.3 brownies sold to, okay, so what does the two mean? Colon, brownies left, okay? So from here, how many brownies were sold? We are told that um, they actually sold, okay, remember we calculated that we, the brownies that were sold was 64, yeah? brownies, so it's 64. Two brownies left, we calculated how many brownies are left, 16, okay? And then what do we need to do from here, right? Okay, all that you need to do or all that you need to remember, you need to remember that obviously when you're working with ratios, you want your ratio to be in the form of, okay, that thinking helps you with what you need to do you want your ratio to be in the form of one is to something okay one is to something that's the thinking that's going to help us get to our answer okay so you can either divide both sides by 16 or you can either divide both sides by 64 we are still going to get to the same answer okay please take note when it comes to the ratio questions the calculator can do this for us okay this is, is it, it literally counts three marks Okay, for us to be going around trying to find the highest common, the factors of 16, the factors of 64, then you're going to look for the highest common factor, then from there we're going to divide both numbers, but it's going to, it's going to be a tedious process, it's going to take us long. That is why here, we're just using the calculator, it's getting us to our answer quicker. Okay, remember, we don't have time, we want to finish our exam. So, the first thing you can do, you can either divide both sides by 64, it's going to give you the same answer. So divide both sides by 64, therefore when you divide both sides by 64, it's going to be 1 is 2. From your calculator, 16 divided by 64 is equal to 1 over 4. Remember, okay, remember, we cannot leave the ratio in this form because they asked it for in they asked for our ratio to be in simplified form. So it needs to be whole numbers, not fractions, not decimals. If they asked it to be in unit form, then we could obviously change it to like a decimal, which is 1 is to 0 0.25. But the question asked it in simplified form, so it needs to be whole numbers. So for it to be um, a whole number, remember, we obviously need to get rid of this denominator. How do you get rid of it? Because they're saying 1 divided by 4. So to get rid of the 4, you need to perform the inverse, which is multiplied by 4. If you're multiplying by 4 on the right, you multiply by 4 on the left. So the answer is just going to be 4 is 2. Two, one because the four and the four cancel we left with the one okay even if you decided to you know divide right through by 16 so you've got 64 is to 16 remember we want our ratio to be in the form of one is to something okay so to get it in the form of one is something one is to something even if you just decided to divide by the smallest value which is 16 16 then what do you have on the right hand side one is two what is 64 divided by 16 it's four. 
okay we still also if you feel like this is easier for you you can also do that where maybe if you want to first start off by dividing by the smaller value okay that's your answer four is to one so that's the ratio of the brownies sold to the brownies left whether you do it like this whether you do it like this it's the same thing potato potato what's very important is that you just realize that the first thing that's going to help you get your answer just think i want to get my ratio in the form of one is to something one is to something so how can i get it in the form of one is to something firstly divide by 64 divide by 64 or even if okay yeah one is to something okay divide by 16 divide by 16 you'll still get the exact same answer all right okay guys so i'm going to stop here so please make sure in the next tutorial okay in the next tutorial we are going to be you know dissecting bmi so i'm going to be explaining bmi in detail to everyone right how do we calculate a person's body mass index right um how do we work with a graph that is given to us right to you know um determine a person's bmi how do we analyze this graph which is something that you need to be able to do what does this weight class mean if we've calculated a person's bmi and we get a certain value how can we classify that person's weight class okay so please make sure that you have a look at um that tutorial please okay where i'm going to be explaining bmi to you guys in detail so i'll see you guys on my next upload that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload a distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy Bye, guys. <laughs>